Alrighty guys, it is Quaman here today and I'm bringing you another Dragon Ball Z segment doing another Who is the Real series on Who is the Real Birder and Jice as hinted by Thundershot last week. So similar to last week, I will be combining both minor characters in today's video. So, in today's video I will be covering their appearance, interesting facts about them, and personal insight into the characters. So without wasting any more time, let's get straight into this video. Let me quickly mention however that there will be another guest in today's video. So let's get started. Hello beautiful friends, from every corner of this planet I am your guest, Black and Fist, and I'm glad to help Qualman out in this duo segment here to talk about my favorite, and I mean my favorite member of the Ginyu Force, Birder. Let's of course start with appearance. Let me start off by saying Birder is by far the tallest member of the Ginyu Force, obviously, as he is here standing about 7 to 8 feet tall. He has dark blue skin with small black dots all over his body. As far as his eyes go, he has deep red irises with no pupils. Personally, I always found Birder to look a bit like a snake in just his head, maybe not his whole body, but his head does resemble what looks like a snake to me, or at least a reptile. Now let's move on to some interesting facts about Birder, and we'll start with his name. This doesn't really surprise me, as I did a video a while back, Birds and the Bees Name Puns, Episode 5, in which I talked about the name puns of Dragon Ball characters, and like every Dragon Ball character, almost every Dragon Ball character that came before Birder, Birder's is a name pun, along with the rest of the Ginyu Force members, and of course, it's a dairy product. Birder's Japanese name is Butta, which is a rearranged version of the English word butter, as which we all know is a dairy product. In the Viz manga, he is called Butta and Barta in the original manga through translation. He is also known by his nickname, the Blue Hurricane, as well. According to the Super Saiyan Daisetsu Strategy Guide, Birder's special powers of extreme speed originated in his childhood. Apparently, Birder's mother was extremely strict. Apparently, his mother made him do a lot of household chores and she would slap him if he was late preparing dinner. Because of so much pressure that was required, he became the fastest, quote, unquote, in the universe which is a questionable statement in itself, but it explains how he got his speed. Now in terms of Birder's race, it should be noted that the actual name of his race was never stated, but it was stated in a video game called Dragon Ball Daisetsu. Two characters, Pero and Sosha, appear after Birder to indicate that Birder is not the only representative of his race as you can be seen in this picture. In addition, the Super Saiyan Bardock special, Chilled's soldier Carbira, was a striking resemblance to Birder as well. Also, in the Broly, the legendary Super Saiyan, Mao looks similar to Birder as well. Now, although he, we never found his name out, in the filler episodes we see the fighter who looks strikingly similar to Birder, who is training on Grand Kai's planet. So overall we can conclude that even though we don't know what Birder's race is, it is very possible that his race is not extinct. In terms of personality and techniques, let me quickly point out that in terms of personality we don't know much about him. However, he does hold himself in a very high esteem in terms of his speed, which is kind of funny because he really isn't the fastest in the universe and he's also the most quiet and thoughtful member of the Ginyu Force. Power-wise, he is about as strong as Raccoon and Jace, as these three are roughly the same power with Ginyu and Goldo being the strongest and weakest respectively. It seems that Birder is closer to Jace than the rest. He and Jace have a lot of tag team attacks in the anime, 
In the manga, they don't team up in the same exaggerated extent, but they still fought Goku together. In terms of techniques, Berger is known for his purple comet flash, which he tried to use with Jace in his failed fight against Goku. He essentially joins with Jace in a ball of energy and fired key blasts that had no effect on Goku. In the anime filler scene with Ginyu Force against the Z Fighters, he and Jace performed the Purple Comet attack, in which they join forces and try to charge Tien with physical rush attacks but ultimately failed once again. While playing the video games, you can say that Birder focuses a lot more on physical attacks as compared to Jace. I'll conclude my segment by sharing my final thoughts. First of all, Birder, as I said before, is my favorite member of the Ginyu Force. One of those reasons is because he proclaims himself to be the fastest, even though we know he isn't. But I just love, I don't know, I just gotta like that confidence he has. But a really big reason is because of his appearance in the Budokai Tenkaichi games. He is one of the most devastating physical attackers in that game, and although he is not nearly the fastest in the universe in the Dragon Ball world, in Tenkaichi, he is, you could say, the fastest physical attacker in that game, or if not one of the fastest. So Birder, you could say, definitely is a very, very fast guy, at least in the games. So him talking all that trash about him being the strongest, actually he's got him something. But as we all know, in the real series, Frieza would have probably have been light years ahead of Birder in terms of speed along with King Cold. But you know what? What really matters is the games. In the games, King Cold and Frieza are not nearly as fast as Birder. So there you go. Take that, Frieza and King Cold. And last but not least, I've noticed that Birder is the only member of the Ginyu Force who has never successfully landed a blow against a Z fighter. This includes the manga and the anime filler. Birder has never landed a direct punch. Golda was able to paralyze Krillin and Gohan and land a few blows. Jace hit Vegeta, Raccoon got hit several hits on Gohan, Krillin and Vegeta, and Ginyu hit Goku several times. Name me when Birder hit a Z Fighter if I missed out on the time. But I guarantee you, you get me Tenkaichi 3, I'm picking Birder, I am guarantee I'm hitting you a lot. Trust me. This concludes my segment on Birder. I would really like to thank Qualman here for having me on this video segment, and I hope to do more with him in the future. You can also check my old channel out as I have just reached 9,000 subscribers and me, Quaman, and Thundershot did all the Q&A for all of you guys answering all of those questions that you've been sending in. I've also did another video where I explain what exactly is canon or not canon in the Dragon Ball series. A very in-depth discussion that did take me a little time to do, but I think it was worth it. So you guys can all check that out in the description. But I'm Black and Fist, guys. And as I always say, I'm out, man. So, that concludes Black and Fist's portion of this video. Now, let's move on to my favorite character, Jace. Jace is a mutant from Space Australia. Starting off with his appearance, Jace is the second shortest member of the Ginyu Force, or you could also say he's the fourth tallest member of the Ginyu Force, with Ginyu, Birder, and Raccoon being taller than him and Guldo being shorter. He also has red skin with long white hair giving him the longest hair of the Ginyu Force, with Raccoon being the only other member of the Ginyu Force who even has hair. What I find interesting about Jice is that looking at Raccoon and Jice, Jice has red skin and white hair whereas Raccoon has white skin and red hair. As far as a humanoid appearance goes, Jace looks completely human with the exception of his red skin, and if he had another skin complexion, he and Raccoon could both pass as humans. Jice is also one of the three Ginyu Force members that was shown with gloves, with the others being Guldo and Raccoon. Birder and Ginyu did not wear gloves. Now let's get into some interesting facts. As you guys know by now, all Ginyu Force members have dairy puns as their names. With that said, Jace's name in Japanese is Jizu, which is a derivative of Chizu or cheese. 
as a matter of fact in the manga he is called Jis as it is spelled with J-H-E-E-S-E to reflect the cheese name pun. In Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3, Chi Chi implies that Jace's name was based on the name pun for Juice as she says it in his character bio. Jace also has a nickname Red Magma as well. As the guide for Dragon Ball Super Saiyan Densetsu explains the origins of the Ginyu Force members and how they got their powers, it's quite interesting to note how Jace got his. Apparently when he was a kid, Jace played baseball in the Galactic Little League, and it is here where he developed his crusher ball technique motion. For Jace's race, according to Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 2, even though it's not an official source, Jace is of the Brench Seijin race. He shares his race with Salza from Cooler's Arm Squadron, who is also of this race. As stated by Captain Ginyu, both he and Jace are mutants, which implies that Salza is probably a mutant as well. It is also said that Jace is Salza's rival as both argue over who is stronger and who has the better looks as both the player flamboyant and could be deemed as pretty boys. But we can all safely agree that Salza is probably much stronger than Jace as Jace wasn't even stronger than Ginyu and Salza's probably much stronger than Ginyu based on the fact that he works for Cooler. As far as looks go, I want you to be the judge of who is better looking between Jace and Salza because I honestly have no opinion on Null on who is the better looking character. Another interesting fact about Jace is that similar to Rakum, there is a huge difference between his Funimation and Ocean Dub voice. In the Ocean Dub, he had a Brummy accent, which is a dialect in England. In the Funimation dub, he had an Australian accent as voiced by Christopher Sabat. Christopher Sabat is the voice actor for many other characters such as Vegeta and Piccolo. You can see the differences in the voices here. This guy's pretty good, Berta. That was quite an entrance he made. This guy's pretty good, Berta. It's quite an entrance he made. As shown in Super Saiyan Densetsu, Moose and Banira are also additional members of Jace's race as well, but they are in different colors. In terms of personality and techniques, it should be noted that Jace and Guldo are by far the most timid members of the Guinea Force. Jace was so terrified of Goku that he left his comrades behind after Goku beat them up as shown with Rakum and Birder, as they were both killed by Vegeta afterwards. All of this angered Captain Ginyu greatly. Jace is also a bit of a punk too as he ganged up on Goku with Birder and failed to defeat him. He also tried to gang up on Goku with Captain Ginyu by shooting an energy blast at Goku which forced Goku to dodge it giving Ginyu the advantage by putting Goku in a full Nelson. But all of these actions suggest that Jace is definitely a coward. For power and techniques, Jace falls into that middle 3 category with Rakum and Birder as being the 2nd, 3rd and 4th strongest members of the Ginyu Force without any of those 3 being clearly stronger than the other which is proven by Krillin as he said that they all have around the same power level. However, I have always considered Jace the 2nd strongest or the 2nd most powerful overall although many of you would disagree and here is why. When I look at those 3 members. Birder is the fastest but lacks power. Rakum would be the most powerful in terms of doing damage and power, but he would lack speed. Jace seems to be a balance of both of those which is why I say he's the second most powerful or second most all around best fighter since he is all around completely. Even though I say this I'm not factually proven in many unofficial sources which are very inconsistent with Ginyu Force power levels. These are just my thoughts. As a matter of fact, most unofficial sources list Birder as being stronger than Jice, but Rakum as being stronger than Birder in some sources. Due to all this inconsistency with some members being stronger than others in different sources, there is no way to determine the middle order until a true confirmation is finally released. As far as Jace's techniques go, 
Black and Fist already covered several of the tag team attacks that Jace shares with Birder. However, one tag team attack that Jace uses with Birder is the Crasher Cannon that was used against Tian Shanhan in the filler where both of them fired red and blue energy blasts at Tian. The other move that is exclusive to Jace is the Crusher Ball which is his ultimate and signature move. With that said, it can be argued that combining the anime and the manga, Jace seems to be more of an energy type fighter whereas Birder is more physical and Raccoon is actually more balanced in terms of combining energy and physical attacks. As far as my personal insight into Jace, I've always considered him my favorite member of the Ginyu Force because I thought he was the most comedic based on his voice and personality. As far as foods go, I love eating cheese and finding out that his name was based on the name pun for cheese made me an even bigger fan of him. I also thought that the crusher ball technique was pretty cool as the concept of a move was based on a baseball being thrown in the form of an energy ball and the throwing motion resembled a pitcher. Over everything else though, I think Jace had one of the funniest moments in Dragon Ball Z. I'll share the clip here. As you can see, that scene right there showed how cool Vegeta was, but I found it hilarious how Jace was begging Vegeta for his life, as this was one of the funniest scenes in Dragon Ball Z for me. So guys, that has been my video for today. Overall, I'd like to thank Black and Fist for helping me do this video on this dynamic duo of the Guinea Force and both him and Thundershot for helping me conclude my Who is the Real series on the Guinea Force. Please check out his channel below in addition to my other video partner Thundershot who helped me make last week's video. Both channels will be in the description below in addition to the other two videos. One last announcement I have to make is to please check out my most recent video on my report card as I would like to know what you guys think about my channel as I need some feedback from you guys. I'd like to thank all of you who have already helped me by doing so. But most importantly, over everything else, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And remember as I always say to have a great day guys.